Hi everybody, I'm Coach Ali and this is Steph. Are you ready to lift your way to a stronger, healthier body? You've come to the right place. Lift is the home barbell workout series that's gonna help you reach your goals and take your fitness to the next level. For the lift series, we are using our barbells. However, you can mimic and complete the entire workout series with a pair of dumbbells too. Barbells are a universal piece of equipment and an excellent way to get fast results due to the range of motion, allowing for precise targeting of muscles and control over the weight being lifted. Lift series is all about smart strength training with barbells that'll produce real results. All you need to do is follow along to each and every workout in the lift series in the order that we release them. During our lift series, we'll bring you targeted barbell workouts structured to get you stronger, maximize your gains, and reduce your body fat in the shortest period possible. With lift, you'll learn essential barbell exercises designed to build strength and muscle whilst keeping your heart rate in your fat burning zone. Together, we'll also explore proper form and technique that will keep you safe while maximizing the benefits of each exercise. It's very important to make sure you have clear space around you free from trip hazards. Also have a bottle of water with you and take a sip between sets and stay hydrated. As per all workout series on this channel, the first 10 workouts are available to everybody with access to YouTube. Workouts 11 to 24, on the other hand, are available to channel members, which can be obtained by clicking the join icon and choosing your preferred level of membership. Now get ready to feel the burn and let's get fit together with lift. Today's workout will focus on your back, biceps and abs using your barbell or using your dumbbells at home as an alternative. Your back muscles are vital for good posture and overall fitness, while your biceps help you perform everyday tasks with ease. And of course, your abs are crucial for balance, stability and that lean toned look we all want. Let's get started. This is an overhand row from that bent over position. So again, make sure you start with your knees bent. You need ample tension on your thighs. Get that hinge of the hips going, making sure that your back is remaining nice and straight. Push your butt back and hinge your hips. Your hands are no wider than shoulder width. And when you pull the bar up vertically, you're keeping those elbows tucked in by your side. The mistake people can make is that they flex their wrists when they pull this exercise up. Make sure that you keep your wrists nice and straight.
This is a bent over T row. Start with your knees slightly bent. Make sure that you have a hinge of your hips and that your back's remaining nice and flat. Pull the barbell up vertically, making sure that you're keeping wide elbows. So when you get to the top of the exercise, there should be a straight line from elbow to elbow. Drop the bar down vertically with ample control and make sure you exercise full range of motion. So for this exercise, we're starting with a biceps curl and then we're going into a standing press. Make sure that your feet are at shoulder width, your knees are soft, your hips are nice and heavy underneath you and there's no movement in your torso. Get that 90 degree elbow flexion, go into the biceps curl and then from there, let's go into a horizontal extension all the way. Now, as you extend your arms out, you're going to feel it in your shoulders, but you're going to get that real core engagement straight through the middle of your abs as well.
This exercise is a bicep spider curl and we're doing it from a seated position. You're leaning over and you're resting the bottom of your triceps at your knees. So this behaves a lot like a preacher's bench. So it's supporting your arms and it's stopping you from moving your elbows. Then work that good range of biceps curl, making sure that you keep your elbows soft when you extend to the bottom because we need to make sure we protect those elbows. This exercise is a glutes bridge press and it's a two-in-one exercise. We'll go up into an isometric glutes bridge. We're looking for a straight line from your shoulder all the way to your knee, engaging your glutes and engaging your erectors as well. And at this point, we'll start some wide chest presses. So start with the barbell at your chest, work through that vertical line until you've got soft straight elbows at the top of the exercise and keep your glutes bridge isometric while you're doing your wide chest presses.
This is a combination exercise. We're starting with an overhand row and then we're standing up and going into an upright row. So start the exercise with the hinge of your hips, making sure your back's remaining nice and flat. Lift the barbell up vertically, keeping your elbows tucked in by your side as you do that overhand row. And then stand up and go for another rep, vertical movement, this time all the way up to your chin with your elbows out. This is a combination exercise. We're going from a bent over row to a bent over biceps curl. So start with that hinge of your hips, making sure that your back's nice and flat. You need ample support of your weight using your thighs. Pull up from that underhanded position, making sure your elbows are tucked in by your ribs. And then when you go into that extended position, go straight into a biceps curl. So we want at least 90 degrees of elbow flexion, keeping your upper body static throughout both exercises.
This exercise is a barbell biceps lift. It's a vertical lift of the barbell whilst you're keeping your elbows tucked in by your side. So let's go from that upright position with your arms extended and pull the barbell up all the way to your sternum. Let's try to avoid any back and forth motion of your torso and certainly don't assist by moving your hips. Stay nice and heavy on them. You're going to get this exercise at the peak of your biceps. This exercise is around the world. So it's a shoulders exercise and a core exercise in one. You can see we're starting facing either the left or the right. And then we're extending the barbell all the way up with soft straight elbows, going right over the top of us and moving towards the opposite direction. There should be no additional movement of the torso. Just focus on that rotation at the shoulders.
This is a barbell abs rollout. Now, you can see a distinct difference. I'm going all the way through with this exercise, and Steph's just going halfway up until she's comfortable. The main goal is to try and hit a straight line from your shoulder to your knee, and make sure that your tailbone remains tucked in the entire time. If you push your tailbone out, you're going to get that pressure in your lumbar spine, and when you feel that, you know that you're not doing it correctly. So I want you guys to watch for that. This is a two-in-one exercise. It's a Romanian deadlift working its way into a T-row and then standing back up into your neutral position. Start with your feet at shoulder width or even marginally wider. Get that hinge of the hips and bring the barbell down mid-shin until you've got a nice RDL. Then pull the barbell up to your chest with your elbows wide before you squeeze your glutes and erectors and work your way back up into that standing position.
this is a biceps reverse curl. You can see that our hands are pretty close together. We're essentially at a parallel line or even marginally closer. You've got to keep your elbows still, but you've also got to keep them tucked in by your ribs. Keep your knees soft and keep your hips heavy underneath you. This is a great exercise for your brachialis, the lateral part of your biceps and your triceps, which is essentially the outside of your arms. You're going to feel this one in your forearm extensors as well. All right, well done for completing today's lift home barbell workout and progressing through this series. If you enjoyed the workout with us, then please give us a thumbs up and let us know how you did. We love hearing from you and hearing about your fitness journey. Don't forget to spread the love and share these workouts with your friends and family. If you're done working out today, then you should move on to cool down stretching with our physio Daphne. There's a link of her stretching playlist at the end of this video, so be sure to check it out. And of course, we look forward to bringing you another lift home barbell workout shortly. You guys take care of yourselves and each other.